Yep. Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I know it's been a few days since I've uploaded a video. I still haven't moved. I've been really comfortable. Uh, it's been incredibly warm and I'm about to fix that very, very soon. <laughs> Actually, let's hold off. I'm not quite ready to show you the new intro. I realized that uh, I'm not traveling with the motorcycle and trailer anymore, so you just got a sneak peek of something I've been working on. Definitely a change, as you can see. We're going to an animated version of my intro and also back to the original theme music. A lot of people are happy about that, but let's save that for a future video because that's still a work in progress. I'm working on a new intro and outro for the channel. Let's go check on that fire. Like I said, the Pacific Northwest, at least the west side of Washington State and Oregon, is usually not that hot. We average 77 all, all summer long in July and August average, uh, at least on the west half of the state. In eastern Washington, it's been 100 every single day, and now it's been mid-90s for several days. Yeah, well, enjoying a campfire here. But like I said, we are going to be getting on the road here soon. I still need to make sure that we actually fix the brakes and the steering issue. But the only thing going on right now is burning this wood. I gotta burn the last of it, and I have to. <laughs> yeah, I have missed these tall trees of the Northwest. It's kind of a muggy evening. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't usually have a campfire when it's warm, but hey, I'm doing it. I'll go ahead and uh, cut back in in the morning. You, you okay there, Opie? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? I know, but you're being weird again. I wonder what breed Opie is. I might have to do one of those DNA tests. I'm pretty sure he's like part ragdoll. <laughs> he's such a character. He is a very unique boy like no other. Tara, you're an angel. You are. Yeah, you're a sweetheart. Yeah, you are. Good girl. But Opie, <laughs> like, this is why I don't watch much TV anymore. It's just constant entertainment from these two little fuzzy butts. Okay, I'm packing it up. We gotta go. All right, high fives, high, high fours. How many you got? You got four? Okay. All right, Terry, you ready? All right. Yeah, these two. These two are my world. Good morning, everyone. I've got a lot of anxiety. I wish Andrew were here. I'm gonna be pulling out after we did the brakes and bled the brakes, an entirely new braking system on the front. Um, when I when I finished Vlogmas in July, we talked about the fact that I had a rock and a caliper and the steering was off, so we gotta figure that out. Um, I already talked to management and told them what's going on because there's a one-way downhill. You can't go uphill, but I told them, I'm not comfortable after putting brand new brakes and, ble and bleeding those brakes to go downhill as soon as I leave. So uh, as long as there's nobody coming, there's really only three sites where it goes back to a two-way road there. So it's, it's a very short period of time where I'll be going the wrong way. But we're going to be okay. Uh, once the sun comes out here, I'm going to hook up the car, drive off the leveling jacks, and we're going to see how the brakes are. You guys don't have to worry, though. I'm going to take care of it all, okay? I'm going to do it all. You just lay right there, all right? All right, um, I'm all packed up and ready to go. Just wanted to share this with you because the Northwest doesn't usually get this hot, but I will pop up the weather here in Olympia, 96 today, 98 tomorrow, then 101 degrees. Uh, it's very rare to stay that hot, as you can see in the 90s and 100 for five straight days. Uh, so what's the plan for today? Well, I'm, hopefully I'm gonna be meeting up with an old friend visiting, and uh, then I'll pop this other one up well, that's the ocean. That's Ocean Shores, guys. Now, I don't have a place to boondock over in Ocean Shores anymore, and I'm not going to pay $40 a night at the Quinault Beach Resort to boondock. But I have another friend. You have to wait till the end, but you can see these differences. It's it's crazy how different it is. We're, we're going to the 60-degree summer. Yeah. Lazy kitties. Goodness. All right, new camera angle, slightly different angle from where this one was before. And then, of course, we've got the one shooting out the window there. So 
Uh, in case you missed my last video, we did a complete front brake job on Frida here and had to bleed the brake lines. And uh, I haven't even started this thing up since. So I need to get down off the uh, tri levelers, those little orange levelers I'm on right now. So turn the AC off, start it up, see what the brake feels like. Different. <laughs> it definitely feels different. Okay. Okay, well, let's try this. I'm gonna hold the brake and I'm gonna release the emergency brake. So far, so good. Put it into reverse. And I'm gonna hit the, ooh, feels good. Feels really good. Well, that's exciting. Let me go move the leveling jacks. Nice. Okay, so. I'm still plugged into power for the moment right now, so I can't do a whole lot, but let's put it back into drive. We definitely have brakes, so that's good. Pedal doesn't feel like overly soft or anything. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hook up the car, unplug. Let's get on the road. It's the only way we can really test this out. <laughs> All right. I got eyes on tater tot here on the camera back there. I only had one of them click again, one of the blue ox things. So got to figure out which one still needs to be clicked. I'm going to go a little bit to the left. Is that it? I think I just heard it actually. It looks like we're good. Fantastical. So see, we're supposed to go downhill right there. Steep downhill, but uh, nope. I'm going to be going up it right here but right here at that road right there is where it turns to a, a two-way it's not a two-way right this second but right in front of this ram truck we're good now we'll get to the top of the hill up here and then i'll do a couple more brake tests real quick but i think we're good guys you know what? It's been a while since I've made a video. I'm a little out of sorts. I am uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link below in the video description. Let's get back to normal here since Vlogmas. The real test is gonna be out here on the highway. So we know the brakes are working good, but do we have steering back at the center point here, the steering wheel? Gonna find out right now on Highway 12. Uh, get up to speed here. So far, guys, perfectly straight here. Well, a little bit to the left because we're little curve here but yeah I'm hearing some rocks come out of the tread of my tires from that dirt gravel road but yes man that's a good feeling <laughs> we are golden we are good fixed it all right we need to get some gas need to get some gas what are we gonna pay for gas all right i5 is just up here really want to avoid trying to get gas in Thurston County, the state capital, Olympia there. Bummer part is it's really difficult to get a pump with the RV. Towing the car doesn't matter. I don't care how far I hang off the back, but just getting in with the RV is physically difficult. It does say 475 a gallon, so really cheap. I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. I'm going to do it. 475 a gallon we are finally guys actually i can say this is the first time i've been back this summer where gas is under five dollars this is huge uh man that's awesome so I, i'm gonna have to wait for both the truck and the car in front of him to move because the gas tank on my rv is on the back so we got to be really patient that was nice 470 and i did go in and pay cash because if you look closely at this board it costs 10 cents more per gallon if you use your debit or credit card. It's kind of a unique thing to the Northwest. It's always good to buy your gas with cash. Uh, some just have like a 15 cent surcharge to use a card. Here in Washington State, it's 10 cents more per gallon. And we're, and we're talking, an, I think I have a 70 gallon tank. That's a, that's a lot, 10 more cents per gallon than advertised. All right, we're gonna get on I-5 here. As we do that, uh, let's take a moment and talk about Miranda, my Class A RV. I know I mentioned last time I was in Aberdeen, I brought it up and it just sparked a bunch of questions. Uh, I wanna tell you guys that I am very, very happy with this shorter, easier to maintain system of this Class C. And um, 
as of now, this is my RV. Uh, I do not have my Class A anymore. I won't be riding my Class A or using my Class A. It's going to be me, Frida, Tater Tot, Opie, and Tara. That's, that's the way we're moving forward. End of story. No, I won't answer any questions in the comments about it. It's not available, but I don't have it anymore. Let's go up north one more time in a Thurston County. Gonna be meeting up with a longtime friend. All right, we're here in Lacey, Washington. Got the AC rolling in there uh, on solar. Uh, it's tough for me. I, I hate this city and their propaganda. I'm committing so many felonies right now because inside my RV is nothing but camping paraphernalia. All kinds of camping paraphernalia. But as Lacey police say, they will, they will only enforce it when they need to. All I can do is hope and pray that today is not the day where they feel like enforcing it. It's a stupid law. <laughs> anyway, rant over. <laughs> oh, wait for Carolyn to get here. Man, it's always these white vans rolling right up on me. Wait, who do we got here? Look who we got here, Carolyn and Ron. Long time, guys. Hello. I guess so here in this part of Lacey, there's a, a newer restaurant that's opened up over here. It's a Hawaiian barbecue place that's new over in this. So we're gonna go check that out for lunch. Yeah, so I used to uh, work freight over there at that Home Depot right over there. This is the new L&L Hawaiian barbecue chain restaurant that moved in. Let's go try it out. So Car <laughs> Carolyn and Ron here got the chicken katsu. Katsu. Katsu chicken. Oh, big old plate of food there. Not bad. And they are really busy here. Every every table's filled up. So they're having no problem getting people in here. All right, and then I got the chicken barbecue platter with all different kinds of chicken. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that was great catching up with uh, Carolyn and Ron there. Uh, they're gonna be hanging out here for a couple weeks and then she's gotta go back to Phoenix. It's just funny because she's in the hot Phoenix where it's like 110 degrees. She gets here to the Pacific Northwest and ironically, we're gonna be in the upper 90s for four straight days. <laughs> just a little, little heat wave that uh, Carolyn brought. Um, I texted a couple friends to see if they wanted to float and nobody's ready to float today, so. I guess we're just gonna go to the ocean and go cool down right now. Yeah. All right, that was fun. Did not get in trouble for having camping paraphernalia in my vehicle. Thank you, Lacey, <laughs> for not enforcing it this one time. And look at this, guys. It just opened right back up. Most of that traffic stayed on I-5 to go uh, south towards Portland uh, here on Highway 8 uh, west towards the ocean. It's wide open and beautiful, no traffic. I do need to clean this windshield. I've got even more bugs showing up right now all over. It's like a daily thing. So what does the sign say? Aberdeen, 35 miles. So we've got about 44 miles to the ocean, Pacific Ocean. They're in Ocean Shores. And the temperature is gonna drop 33 degrees from 97 to 64 degrees in that time. So almost a degree every mile or a degree every minute as we travel. And it's gonna be chilly when we get there. All right, and uh, it's chilly guys. We lost the sunshine, it's just cloudy here. This is the first time I've ever taken Frida with Tater Tot. This is the first for the combo out here. Let's go find a nice place to relax on the beach. Uh, one thing I can tell already is the tide's high because I, I never usually make this turn. And you know what? I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm not going down there. See what I usually do, let me see what's going on over here. Yeah, I just uh, walked out there. Um, it's not too bad. See this, usually there would be even more people out there and then there'd be one more road that's out in the water. This right here, this is hard pack. Like I walked a little bit just to make sure. So we're all good right here. Get out of the way, seagull. The seagull's like right there in front of me. I don't know what seagull tastes like, but we might have some free dinner. <laughs> yeah, see, there's a there's a lot of people out here and there's a lot of different places to, I don't like just being right there by the entrance, so I'll find a spot out here. Here we go. Right here where these seagulls are at. That's gonna be my spot. I'm gonna back in though. Frickin' burr. Got old glory waving high up there plenty of wind here at the beach. What a change, man. How awesome is it to have a home on wheels and be able to 
I mean, there's a lot of people out there, you, you might be one of them sitting there just roasting right now thinking, I'd give anything for just one day break where it was 40 degrees cooler, 64 degrees. And a lot of people can't change the weather where you're at. But Ocean Shores, Washington is a really special place. Uh, we did pretty much lose the sun again, so it's uh, cloudy and overcast, chilly and windy. <laughs> and it'll be like this all week. I don't, I'm just gonna wait till it cools down back in the rest of the state. Um, I gotta figure out somewhere to camp because you can't camp on the beach. A couple RVs down there, but I've, I've been through this before, so you can't overnight here and sleep and camp on the beach, but you can enjoy it for the daytime. But I got three things I wanna share with you real quick, guys. First of all, some sad news. Don't know if you heard about Felix, Big Dog RVer, uh, staying over there with camper van Kevin at his base camp. Felix recently got diagnosed with cancer, spent some time in the hospital to figure out what was going on and what they could do. Uh, I'm happy to report this time, it does sound like Felix is gonna be able to get and get some treatment started at least. He's got a long, long, long road to recovery. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad that camper van Kevin is there with him. Those roles were flipped a couple years ago. So uh, anyway, my heart goes out to Felix, but I also just wanted to mention that there was a, a GoFundMe set up for Felix because those medical expenses are going to be outrageous to treat cancer. So I will link that in the video description if you want to contribute and help out Felix. And Felix, just know that if you're watching this, you have a massive amount of people praying for you and rooting for you. And uh, I miss you, buddy. I'm gonna come see you soon. More on that later though. And also some other bad news. My buddy Wayne, RV Pepper Wayne, got hit by a semi truck while he was parked and sleeping inside his RV. It appears that his RV is completely totaled and he lives in his RV just like me, just like any other nomads. He's also away from where he's used to in, in Florida. I think he's in Kentucky right now. Just uh, cannot get a break and uh, he did not have full coverage on the RV. So he could also really, really use some help in the video description below, I will link his PayPal direct link or you can go to his page to get that link. And uh, if you can help out, help get him back on the road, back to fixing RVs and helping the RV community. You guys know he's done so much for this community as well. Um, it would mean a lot to me if you could consider, if you can't send good prayers and send good vibes to both Felix and Wayne. Lastly, the third link below, I'm gonna ask all of my viewers to consider a free subscription to the RV Camping Magazine. It is a free, absolutely zero cost magazine to you. In fact, you may even recognize some of the people that they have featured in previous months. They're really well known for recently uh, going after some of the YouTube people and trying to focus certain things. Um, you may even recognize uh, a certain two cats and a human uh, in the August edition, but you need to sign up and give your email address in order to get those free digital magazine downloads. And uh, the link is below. Really appreciate you guys check them out. You are going to love the content on this magazine. It is really awesome. And like I said, I'll uh, remind you one more time because you may, you may recognize someone that you follow on August 1st. Well, I'm gonna stay here till it gets dark, but uh, I have a place to camp, an approved place to camp in Ocean Shores. Uh-huh, score. Up until this point, guys, I have never had a place to boondock in Ocean Shores, and it's a very difficult city. They are very strict about having RVs here in this city. Uh, I'm very thankful to some friends who I will let you know more information about in my next video. Uh, but for right now, I have a spot with a deer walking by. That's, that's, that's my friendly deer friend right there. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, a lot of deer around here. It's cold right now. It's 59 degrees, guys. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, so yeah, getting ready to take the flag down because it's getting dark. You can't really tell if the sun's set because you can't see the sun here. And I may have to run my generator a little bit. We'll see. But anyways, guys, you guys have a good evening. Opie, Tara, and I will see you in the next one. Again, check out those links in the video description. Sign up for that subscription. You're not going to want to miss the August 1st edition. <laughs> <laughs>